In this video, I'll be getting ChatGPT to make a game for me with an easy version, hard version, and impossible version. Let's go. Make me an easy game in Scratch. Certainly. Here's a simple game you can create in Scratch called Catch the Ball. Step one, open Scratch and create a new project. Done. Delete the default cat. Bye bye. Click on the choose sprite from library button and select the ball sprite. Here, here, you search a ball and you look like the ball. Off to a great start. Add the following code to the ball sprite. Wing reflect click forever. If key right press then change X by five. Right click duplicate. If left arrow is clicked, negative five and another if touching there's supposed to be another sprite here but i guess there's not for now broadcast game underscore over and then wait 0 0.05 seconds i don't really know what that is but okay sounds good enough or if i click on the game we can move left to right w chat gpt right here revolutionary this code makes the ball move left and right with the arrow keys text if it touches another sprite which will add shortly to trigger the game over the next step click on the choose sprite from library button again and select any sprite you like for the player position it near the bottom of the stage add the following code to the player okay so i'm gonna get another sprite bulky this line kind of match in my vibe and then i repeat the same code wait what okay so i'm gonna drag you in here and now they can both move from left to right very cool now click on the events category i'm already in there and when i receive the game over i'm gonna make a block that says game over and, and that's, that's the game. game now let's witness this game together let's go wow this game is revolutionary i cannot believe i just made this chat gpt is godly okay now let's go into the hard game now make me a hard game in scratch so now let's read this together let's create a challenging game called avoid the enemies in this game the player will control a character to avoid em enemies that move across the screen. Open a scratch project. Yep, delete the cat. And we have to choose a sprite for a character. Sorry, our player. Now, what should it be? Yeah, our player can be a rooster. Let's size him down a little bit. And you said to move him down. So I'm going to do like negative 100 and just put him to zero. Now I have to choose an enemy sprite. Now, what do chickens hate? They hate eggs. Trust me, I know. Anyway, add the following code to the player sprite. If I clicked, go to zero, negative 150. It's kind of low, but you know, you do you forever. If T right, change X by five. If I click duplicate. If left, negative five. If three, then my x position is greater than 240 set x to 240 i don't know what the heck this is but okay then if x is less than negative 240 set to negative 240 and then wait 0.5 seconds what i mean i'm gonna do it but like and yeah so what does this do i don't know let's play yeah we can go left to right and it looks pretty good good job this code allows the player to move from left to right with the arrow keys preventing it from going off screen i mean it can't go off screen anyway but good job now add this code to the enemy sprite when group i clicked forever set x to pick random 240 negative 240 set x to 180 i'm gonna bring out the glide pick random five to ten seconds i grabbed the wrong glide let me just go like boom bam pop negative 180 and pick 240 to negative 240 and then if less than x position is less than negative 180 set x to negative 180 now believe me this is very strategic because you can't be letting the enemy going off the screen chat gpt is smart like that it's not like it doesn't already go off the screen anyway and then wait 0 0.1 seconds godly now let's go check out the game okay okay yeah okay he's going off what the freak i know he's just to put in the weight but i'm not doing that okay 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 oh my god this is godly it's literally raining eggs now what else do we have on the list yeah 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 bloody 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 blah so it basically just wants me to do if touching enemy broadcast game over pretty easy if touching egg broadcast game underscore over when i receive game underscore over say game over and that's all the code that he gave me so let's go check out the final product let's go let's go wait what which is it touching edge if touching egg there we go. Let's go. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. That egg's getting pretty close. Just, that'd be unfortunate if I touched it. Another egg came falling from the sky. That's very interesting. Now, believe me, this is the hard game, but the ending is going to be crazy. And if I accidentally run into the egg, golly gee, game over. Hey, next game. It's just so bad. Make me a game so crazy people think it is made by a human. In Scratch, of course. So let's go see what this all says. Let's create a wacky and crazy game in Scratch. This game will involve bouncing characters that collect flying pizzas while avoiding randomly moving obstacles. Let's call it Pizza Bounce Madness. Goddamn. Let's create a new scratch project delete choose a sprite it told me to get the penguin so i gotta do what you gotta do and when if i clicked forever if key up change y by 10 duplicate down negative 10 double duplicate right change x by 10 left change x by negative 10 and i forgot to go to zero zero and then one more if i'm gonna grab a bunch of ors greater than if x is greater than 240 240 or x is less than negative 240 more ors just trust something like that or y position is less than negative 240 or y position is greater than 240 go to zero Zero, zero. Beautiful. So, so then we can go on to the pizza. Choose Sprite. Is there really no pizza? Wait, what? Dude, there's no way. All right, looks like we're substituting it for bread. When green fly clicked forever. Glide. One to five seconds. Pick 240. Negative 240. Negative 180. If touching penguin then, I guess we gotta make a variable. Score. Change. Score by one. And then go to. Pick random. 240. to negative 240. Negative 180. 180. And then we gotta go back to the penguin and then set score to zero. Now, this is basically what ChatGPT was telling me to do. So let's check 
check it out. But before I do that, it does say I need to do say score. I don't know why, but like, you know, it's ChatGPT. He's way smarter than everybody. You clearly know something that I don't. So let's go check out the game. In three, two, one, go. I'm the freak. Yo, my boy. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's happening here? What the heck? <laughs> Yo, I'm not even increasing the score. Let's try this again real quick. Yo, buddy. I'm literally touching you. Oh my God, this game is broken. Oh, wait, what the heck? Ow. Wait, what? Hello? Wait, what? Yeah, this is definitely a good game. Yeah. 